Hi, this is Casey Foote, your LearnStyle Tech Consultant. So today I'm going to show how to set up Read and Write so that it saves to your system. There are different ways, but this is usually the best bet that you have that it will save to that student's computer, or if they're using their custom login on the network, it's going to save to their browser. So first thing you want to do is we want to go to the Chrome symbol. So the red, yellow, and green symbol. You always want to use Chrome because that is what this app is built for. That's the browser. And then what you want to do is you want to click up here on the little drop down menu and you're going to click in where it says sign in as mine's already signed in, but I'm going to sign in with a different account. And then the sign in screen could come up or you're going to click on add new user. And then you can pick the person you want, click create. So once this signing screen comes up, you want to make sure to have your students use their UG Cloud login. And then for their domain, it's going to be at ugcloud.ca. They have to type this in, so that's how it knows that it's logging on to the cloud. My domain's a little bit different, so I'm going to put that one in. And then they use the same password. And then this is going to pop up. It's going to ask you to link your Chrome data to this account. You want to click link data because that's going to save read and write. It's going to save whatever other apps that you might download or use. Their login stream is going to come up a bit different and it's going to have the UG Cloud just normal login. They need to log in again. They don't have to do this every time. This is a one time setup. And then you can click OK, got it. And if you already have something set up with apps, it's going to load all those. It's going to load your bookmarks. So I usually just wait a few 30 seconds or so to let everything load. But then we'll notice to test to make sure read and write is I usually will go and open a new tab. And you'll notice right here the green read and write symbol. That means that read and write has been loaded. If you know a box pop up that says accept read and write you want to click yes to all of these and then another test you can do is you can click on apps or go to your google drive then you can open up a google document So then I can notice in Google Docs, my read and write toolbar has popped up. So that means it's working too. Again, if when you open Google Docs, a little thing pops up asking you to accept read and write, you want to click yes and you want to continue to accept. So that is how you set up Google read and write. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact anyone at LearnStyle. Thank you and have a wonderful day.